When thinking about the word treasury, the first thing that comes to mind is treasure, which is something of value. So the treasury is a place where these things of value are stored. In this video, the main treasury that will be explored is the Athenian treasury. Treasuries were found throughout palaces in Greece, especially in Delphi, Olympia, and Delos. The main purpose of these treasury houses were to hold important and expensive dedications for a relationship with the gods. There were dozens of treasuries in these areas, one of them being the Athenian treasury. The architecture of this building was very unique and it stood apart from other buildings. Like other treasuries, it was very hard to access. According to Richard Neer, it stood on a high podium without steps and a metal grate ran across the entire front from the ante to the columns, and between the columns themselves. Three retaining walls backed into the hillside, immediately above the temple terrace, with the temple itself looming, looming over all. These images show how much of the Athenian treasury still stands today, so you can only imagine how amazing the architecture must have been and how beautiful the building must have been when it was first built. According to Ralph von den Hof, the Athenian treasury was the first building dedicated by the Athenians in a panhelic sanctuary. It was the first building dedicated abroad by the Athenians after the end of the Pisistratid tyranny and after the Clitensis reform. It was hard for scholars to determine exactly when the treasury was built, but according to the archaic style of the treasury sculpture, the time it opened was between 510 and 480. This image is a sculpture of Athena and Thessus. It is made of marble and today is located in the museum at Delphi. On the right side of the image, the sculpture has been created into a drawing with the idea of what the whole thing may have looked like. There were many treasuries besides the Athenian treasury. One of the oldest is that located in Delphi, as well as the Scythian treasury. According to Richard Neer, it is the most richly adorned of all the treasuries, and it is the place for different subcultures within cities to negotiate with one another. This treasury, unlike the Athenian treasury, did not remain intact in its original place. With archaeological findings, scholars have determined that this, treasury, that this is what the treasury looked like. These treasuries have played an important role in Greek culture and will always remain important to Greek history.